Good morning, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another video. I hope you've been keeping so very well. Today I thought we could hang out for the day. I'm gonna make some delicious food uh, and I thought I'd just catch you up on how things have been going, which to be honest, uh, I've had a little bit of a, a break from posting on social media for the past uh, few weeks, I guess it would be, because uh, I've really been having some struggles with my mental health recently. And yeah, I'll talk about that later today. Uh, but yeah, definitely been uh, a lot of adjusting coming home from having my surgery and readjusting um, and trying to get back to my normal self, I suppose, has been more difficult than I anticipated. But anyway, I'll fill you in on that later. This morning I had a really nice morning. Uh, my friend came down to go for a lovely morning walk with me uh, and I've been really trying my best to be like intentional with my mornings, getting myself out of the house and doing things that make me feel good because I find that when I'm having a rough time with my mental health that uh, for me the morning is typically the hardest part of the day uh, and it's easily the time of day where it, it can almost like dictate how the rest of my day goes I suppose this morning for breakfast I'm making a toasted sandwich and I'm really excited it's like this chickpea smash toasted sandwich I think I shared the recipe in a recent video that I did yes I'm pretty sure it was in a breakfast video anyway I've been really enjoying it and I'm gonna make it for breakfast this morning I'm just really enjoying toasted sandwiches in general, like even a Vegemite and vegan cheese toasted sandwich. So good. Uh, but yeah, we're doing chickpea smash today. So I have made some caramelized onions and I'm about to get into making the chickpea smash. So I will show you how I do that. I definitely don't need all these chickpeas. So I'm gonna add like half of them. And then I'm going to use a fork to smash all of these essentially. Once those chickpeas are all smashed, I'm gonna add in some cashew cream, uh, cashew cheese, I suppose. Uh, this is a dill cashew cheese that I got from my local health food store. You could also make your own. Oh, but honestly, I do like making my own. I just feel like I can never make it as well as like brands make it. <laughs> Adding in a bit of salt as well as a bit of pepper in with this. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of oil as well. And I'm going to, I guess, mix and smash this all together. So onto the outsides and the insides of the bread, I'm putting some vegan butter or margarine. I've got some of this vegan mozzarella by Imber's Pantry and it's one of the cheeses you can get from the supermarket here in Australia that I find melts the best. Cheese, yes, that's gonna be enough cheese, beautiful. And now I am going to add my caramelized onions as well as that chickpea smash on top, put it in the toaster, and it should be crispy and delicious. As my boyfriend always says, let the knife do the work. And you know what? He's not wrong. This is messy as. <laughs> This is absolutely delicious. I can't believe I spent so many years of my life thinking that I didn't like onion and it's like the best thing ever. <laughs> Something I've really noticed, especially recently, is that when I'm having a tough time with my mental health, I can find it really difficult to take care of my space and keep it clean. And it's honestly something I have been really struggling with recently. And so this morning I woke up and told myself that I really want to like do a tidy uh, of the house in general, but I also want to do a really decent clean of the kitchen because the kitchen is really one of my happy places. And I find that when it is feeling like dirty and messy and stuff like that, I'm not enjoying cooking as much. Um, which then obviously contributes uh, to not feeling my best mentally as well if I'm not cooking um, and eating nourishing food and that kind of thing. So uh, this morning, before I get into the rest of my day, I really wanted to do a bit of a clean and a bit of a tidy uh, and see how it makes me feel. I'm sure it's going to, you know, make me feel a bit fresher, I guess, in that way, but we'll see how we go.
honestly it's just such a nice feeling having a clean home and I'm really glad that I took the time to do that today. I'm now going to do a little bit of baking. I, in this time that I have been, you know, really struggling and also just like taking some time for myself, I've been really trying to reflect on the things that make me feel good and calm and present. And one of those things is cooking uh, and baking in particular is something that I love doing. And I really want to bake uh, this like lemon macadamia loaf kind of thing like kind of like a banana bread but it's like a lemon bread kind of vibe uh, I've been wanting to try making something like this for a while so I figured that today um, is the day I'm kind of going to be winging it as I do a lot of the things that I make but that's what I love so much about being in the kitchen and cooking is like the trial and error that comes with it I suppose and so yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to it I'm gonna get the oven on and then get into baking this and fingers crossed it is going to turn out absolutely beautifully Whilst that lemon and macadamia loaf is baking away, which by the way, our home right now smells absolutely incredible with that baking, like absolutely amazing. Whilst it is baking away, I thought this would be a good time to sit down and have a little chat uh, about mental health. Uh, before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my friends at Squarespace for very kindly sponsoring this video and making it possible. For those of you who don't know, I have a website, amandaducks.com, where I share really delicious vegan recipes and where I sell my ebook. And I host and design that website using Squarespace. So Squarespace is is the all-in-one platform for hosting and designing your own website they make it super easy and super affordable to be able to do so and even if you're someone like me who is running my business by myself doing everything myself uh, and isn't super tech savvy it's still really, really easy for me to be able to host and design my website, upload new blog posts, upload my ebook and sell my ebook and process orders and all that kind of stuff. It's so straightforward, it's almost ridiculous. The blogging features and the commerce features are my absolute favorite. I use them every single time I log into my Squarespace and I cannot recommend using Squarespace enough if you're looking to host or design your own website. And if you are looking to do so, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com forward slash Amanda Ducks and you can use my code, which is Amanda Ducks, and it gets you 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain okay so let's have a little chat about mental health and just kind of like I guess the experience I've been having recently and the reason I've been a little bit absent in the online space and when I say a little bit absent it's probably pretty absent because I don't think I've said boo in like uh, almost a month now so as you may know if you're up to date on my YouTube videos I had a major surgery about nine weeks ago now and if you like are hearing about this for the first time now I will link videos below sort of explaining uh, what was going on there as well as that if you are up to date on my videos I did share a vlog when I got back from having my surgery and I shared how I was actually feeling like pretty good for the most part uh, and that you know even though it was much more of a challenging experience than I anticipated I was feeling pretty positive and that was definitely true at the time like having surgery and the recovery was definitely a very very difficult experience and I you know was very aware of that at the time but something has kind of just like happened like after coming back home you know I filmed that video pretty fresh to getting back home and trying to get back into my routine and I feel like honestly a few days after that reality just kind of like hit me in the face and all of a sudden I felt so low and so anxious and so depressed which is not a feeling that I have had 
very many times in my life to be honest like I'm an anxious girly but I'm not someone that gets depressed very often and I think a lot of the time people look at me as a very positive person where whereas recently I've honestly been viewing so many things in a really really negative light and I feel like I can't shut off that negativity and the interesting thing is I've also been having like a lot of I guess like flashbacks or just like a lot of constant thoughts like about my surgery and like the experience of that and like all of the emotion that that brought up and I'm not going to get into all of that right here right now it's definitely like something that I'm working through because I've been going to therapy weekly which I am really enjoying and finding to be one of the most beneficial things for taking care of my mental health but yeah I just wanted to be transparent about the fact that like honestly I don't even know it's just like one day there was like a switch flicked in my mind and I went from like being super positive about the experience and then I think I started like actually processing a lot of stuff this day and since then I've been having a really really hard time and you know haven't been able to do things like work which is you know making YouTube videos is a big part of my work and I really was struggling with that because I was like I do not feel like being on camera right now in any capacity you know and then at the same time i'm also aware of the fact that i'm still in my recovery and like physically i still need to be taking it slow but i know that moving my body makes me feel a lot better mentally and there's just been a lot that's been i guess going on in my mind and so much advice as well from so many different people and just really not knowing like what to do overall to make myself feel better and that's been one of the things that I've been expressing to a lot of my friends and to my partner and my family is like I just don't really know right now how to feel better so I decided over the past few weeks I was like I consciously feel like I need to take a break from like filming and trying to force myself to be on camera because honestly I feel like even just by looking at me you could tell that I was like not feeling good uh, I was struggling to take care of myself in a lot of ways and in some ways I still am some days but I am also doing my best to show up for myself and do the things that I love and I think it always comes back to those core values of like what makes me feel good and for me that's like good food community being outdoors moving my body being creative and just like feeling inspired for life I suppose which is something that I haven't really been feeling if I'm completely honest so I uh, I made a plan to try and you know get out in the mornings and you know uh, be outdoors or be in the community whether that be like going to a coffee shop or seeing a friend uh, I've been really enjoying I started going to like a swimming squad as like a really nice like form of exercise that to me like swimming is one of the most mindful exercises that you can do because you can't have technology with you uh, in the water and I really really enjoy swimming I've always really enjoyed swimming so that's been really great and I feel like yeah I've just been like trying to do things that spark joy and trust I guess the process of the healing journey that is like you know I had major surgery nine weeks ago it was way more confronting and way more difficult than I anticipated and it was also a surgery that was on my uterus which is like obviously where there are a lot of hormones in my body my menstrual cycle has been affected all those kind of things and actually one of the best things that I feel like I I saw someone post on Instagram which I've been trying to limit my social media use but I saw someone post on Instagram something that was like you should instead of being like why am I feeling this way and feeling like frustrated which is what I've been feeling which is like I wake up and I'm anxious or I'm sad and I'm like oh why why am I feeling this way like and instead of doing that having this mindset shift of just saying to myself of course I'm feeling this way and I've been trying to do that for myself when I feel low or anxious or sad or I feel like crying out of nowhere I think to myself of course I feel this way I've arguably just been through one of the hardest things honestly yeah probably have just been through the hardest thing that I've been through in life so far of course I'm feeling this way and applying that generosity to myself and talking to myself in the way that I honestly would talk to the people that I love so yeah that's kind of where I'm at at the moment honestly like complete transparency every day has been kind of like different and 
I'm really, really trying. And honestly, even today with like filming, I felt a lot better mentally, just like having this like lovely purpose and thing that I really enjoy doing, which is filming videos and being creative, cleaning my space today, baking, like even just smelling that lemon and macadamia loaf, like I said, like makes me feel really good. And I'm going to try and honor those parts of myself and uh, try and keep moving through this time. But I guess one piece of advice as well that I have found really helpful for myself is that, you know, going through this experience, I noticed that I felt really alone because I don't know anyone uh, personally that has had the same surgery or experience as me. And so I actually started finding like uh, Facebook groups and things like that of people who had been through similar experiences, uh, you know, in order to feel that comfort and just like feel like I'm not alone in the feeling, I suppose. And so, you know, I know that we all go through so many different things in life. And I think that at the end of the day, a lot of what it comes down to in terms of like feeling less alone is really seeking that community and seeking um, those people who love the same things as you, but also have shared experiences with you and can relate to the way you're feeling. Because I think it does bring this sense of uh, comfort in a way. But anyway, that's where I am at personally. And that's why I've been a little bit absent recently. Uh, I appreciate the patience and I appreciate the kind messages uh, that I've been receiving on Instagram. So thank you so much. I yeah, genuinely just appreciate this community very, very much. So my goal is to get back into creating really delicious vegan uh, recipes to share with you and keep up the vlogging. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, you know, embracing this creativity and getting back into work properly because I am very, very lucky to do what I do and I do really, really enjoy it. So thanks for your patience. Let's go check on that lemon macadamia loaf because I think it's almost ready. And honestly, it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm not gonna be patient enough to wait for this to cool down because I wanna taste it so badly. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. And I think I might be cutting it a little too early, but I just so badly want to see how this looks inside. Look at that. Bouncy, looks good, looks fluffy. Let's do a little, this is gonna make mess, but that's all right. Ooh, that texture is like perfect. I'm not gonna lie, it's not perfect, but is beautifully fluffy, which is honestly that bit of it's perfect. The crumble, I think is a little touch too dry, or I baked it a little too long. But other than that, it is absolutely delicious and something that I will definitely be making again. So as you can probably tell, the sun is very much so setting. I'm gonna have a pretty chill night tonight, but I do want to test making a recipe idea that I have had for a while. My boyfriend and I often make like ramen or creamy noodle soups for dinner. It's like a staple. We have it a couple of times a week, but I've been having this vision for like a miso peanut creamy broth instead of like what we usually do. And so I think I'm going to try making that tonight and see how it goes. Uh, Cause that's kind of where I've got to start when it comes to like creating a recipe. So hopefully that will be good. I'm excited to spend the evening in the kitchen making a really hearty and delicious meal for my boyfriend and I. And yeah, it should be good. But thanks so much for watching this video. It was really nice to catch up and honestly really nice to film today. Thanks for being super patient with me over the past couple of months. And as always, I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Let's get into the ramen. Roll the ramen tape. Or like miso peanuts, noodle soup 